Jason Doyle, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Congratulations from everybody in British Speedway on winning the world title last October. Here you are now uh, in the build-up to the new season. And first of all, a new club, but a pretty familiar club for you. Um, can you tell us any more about how the move came about? Obviously, you tweeted that your time at Swindon had come to an end, but you've moved across to, to Somerset. The move came about pretty quickly in the end. Yeah, firstly, thank you. It's good to be come back to England and to be world champion. And firstly, to, to race for, for an English club is, was number one priority um, for myself and the team. Um, I think I'd never had the other option of, of not riding in Britain. I uh, said that to yourself and many other people that I, I wanted to uh, win the world title and still stay in um, English Speedway. It's um, going to be very difficult this year. Um, the team we've got at Somerset is, is very strong. I, I feel that um, it's a, a very level team with um, a lot of potential at the, the bottom end. So it's going to be enjoyable and I hopefully uh, we can make the playoffs. That's um, the, the main goal for Somerset this year. Yeah, very ambitious club, of course, and it's great to see. Just one final thought on last October in the playoff final, Swindon against Wolverhampton. Couldn't have got any more dramatic, could it? I mean, to win the league with Swindon in the very last race of the grand final like that was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was perfect for TV, but also uh, we were the underdogs going to, to Wolves after a disaster at Swindon um, the, the, on the Monday. It was a bit of an eye-opener when uh, Wolves come to, to Swindon and, and beat us there, and we had a seven-point um, disadvantage going into Wolves, which it should have been the other way around. So, yeah, to win on the last race with myself and Nick, it was a nice way to, to finish off my uh, career with Swindon. These meetings now between Somerset and Swindon, they're going to be box office this year. They're going to be worth watching. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you always like racing against your, your ex-club. And I also love going back to Swindon. And when I did ride for them uh, against them when I rode for Leicester, it was always nice to go and score good points against them. And I'm going to be doing the same this year. We're going to go, go to Swindon and, and hopefully beat them there. And what about being world champion? How's it changed your life now? It happened at the end of October last year in Melbourne, in your home country. It was better than Lego. Love that quote. Um, and, and certainly, it must, it must change your life now. You've been back to Australia. Has it changed your life? No, it's still all the same. It's, it's quite weird, to be honest. Um, I, I never knew what was going to happen when I won the world title, and nothing has changed. Um, I think it's myself, it's a personal achievement, but I'll um, look back when I retire and, and think, well, that was, that was really good to, to win a world championship. And after all the injuries I've had, um, we worked very hard uh, last season to, to get where we were. And that was a very uh, stressful and an emotional time. And I think uh, to be world champion in Melbourne was probably a dream that I actually thought about many a times to, to win or even just to be in the Grand Prix in, in Australia and, and it all come true uh, in Melbourne. Yeah, it was an amazing night. And just finally from me, Jason, how much of a part has British Speedway played in that to you becoming world champion from the Isle of Wight days, Poole, of course, uh, Birmingham, a spell at the Brummies, Poole, you know, the clubs that you've been at, Swindon. You, you've really done the rounds in British Speedway, haven't you? Yeah, I'm a, I don't want to say that, <laughs> the wrong word, but it, I've been around, but it, it's also, um, it's, it's good for your, for your career to, to move around to certain tracks as well. and, and kind of adapt to the smaller tracks to the bigger tracks and I've said this a few times now that there's going to be a lot of the top boys coming back to English Speedway because that's where you learn your, your trade and uh, the money's everyone's on about the money it's not about the money sometimes I'm not if to be honest to, to come back to England it's 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 not about riding um, for the money it's about to be on a motorbike and, and enjoying your riding and I think these People that haven't rode in England, they, they will come back eventually and, and try to, to ride in England because they know that that's where you, you, you learn your trade and, and it's very technical tracks. It's not all about holding the, holding the throttle flat out. I think I can speak for every fan of British Speedway when I say congratulations once again on what happened last October. I think British Speedway should be proud of you and welcome back to the Premiership with Somerset. Have a great year, Jason. Thank you very much.